We're reopening hostels, hotels, B&Bs. We'll reopen the doors to our theatres, concert halls and business conference centre. We'll unlock the turnstiles of our sports stadia subject to capacity limits. As theatres and cinemas opened its doors on 17th May after 14 months, several theatre authorities can be seen taking necessary precautions with social distance rules. Even though plays have opened with only 50% capacity, showgoers' appetite for old-fashioned theatrical drama has never been higher. I'm tremendously excited about the fact that the theatre seems to be reopening. I think the um, the, the one-way systems in the theatres, wearing masks, um, ordering your drinks through an app rather than going to the bar, although in some cases you can still go to the bar, still feels very strange and alien and having seats fenced off beside you also feels bad. But I think um, the excitement of watching a live performance is, if anything, heightened by the fact that we've been starved a bit for so long. And I think audiences are just so happy, frankly, to be out and amongst strangers rather than stuck with their immediate family who they've been with for 15 months um, and doing something which isn't watching Netflix um, means that the, um, the level of response is, is, is as high as it ever was really. No wonder theatre reopening is a breath of fresh air, contributing to the livelihood of theatre producers, directors, actors, sound designers, stage managers and musicians. With the reduced normality this summer, performers are slowly heading back on stage with plenty of precautions. However, not all theatres have reopened in May. London's leading theatrical impresario, Andrew Lloyd Webber's most anticipated romantic musical, Cinderella, premiered on 25th June at Gillian Lynn Theatre. Well, I cannot believe it, but we are actually at the afternoon of our first preview of Cinderella. And I cannot thank you for being so patient that you're really coming tonight. What a, what a time we've had, but we are going to have a great show, I hope, tonight. We're got a lot to learn. We need an audience. We have really got half an audience, thanks to our government. Uh, but we need an audience to tell us that we've done right or not. Uh, but welcome to the Virginia Near Theatre and Cinderella. Rejecting the government's offer to add his musical production to a pilot scheme program, Lloyd Weber was determined to open his theatres on 21st June, risking himself being arrested if authorities tried to intervene. No, those big musicals, it's frightful because they can't function on playing social distancing. It, does, it doesn't make sense. They can't make money. They'll lose a fortune. If Andrew wants to go... We're at full capacity. That means everyone's sitting next to each other. And that's what they want. They want it to be socially distanced and he can't afford to put the show on if they're socially distanced because he hasn't got enough seats to sell to make the show break even. That's the issue. <laughs> dramatic changes, not big ones, because the characters remain the same, but some director's interpretations of them will change, but broadly they 
look familiar. I mean, menswear is slightly easier because there are still, amazingly enough, traditional tailored suppliers as opposed to having everything made. As, well, as much as we could, we had to do it with social distancing. Um, so we also then decided to have two casts, just so if one person gets COVID, then that, obviously that whole cast would have to go into isolation. And so we'd have a second cast. So how we're doing it is they're doing one week on and one week off at the moment. It's been a bit of a minefield, but it's worked. Um, and we have, as well as those two casts, we have one set of understudies that cover the two casts, but they're in their own separate bubble. And then the director and myself were in another bubble. So you've got and stage management in another bubble. And we none of us could really meet. Well, we met, but we couldn't come close to each other. It was extraordinary, actually. But that's how we did it. So we rehearsed it for two days with one cast. Um, and then the next two days with the next cast. And in the meantime, I took the first cast into a rehearsal room to work with them while they, the second cast worked with the director. And then we carried on doing it like that for three weeks until we opened. Extraordinary, but it worked. And particularly now when we have two casts, and nobody can share garments. We're quite fortunate that we have a lot of stock because normally there'd be eight overcoats and now we've got 16 overcoats and all the understudies have them. So we've pulled in things we used on the tour so we've been able to accommodate them. But we honestly, we, none of us like waste and we all try and find some good use for anything that's comes from no good for the show. It's an absolute uh, pleasure to tell the story, even though it's not necessarily the most palatable story, because uh, obviously Tina Turner had a, a really hard start. Um, and so we spend uh, a lot of time within the uh, kind of 1940s to 1970s of seeing um, some success for Tina, but not really uh, happiness. So once we get our, that's our kind of first half of the show and our second half is the kind of renaissance of Tina Turner and it's the, kind of the 80s uh, rebirth of, uh, of her as a, a pop artist and, and we've got a, uh, a band on stage at the end that uh, come forward and you can see everyone from the band on stage and it, uh, it turns into a concert and it's amazing what that does for the musicians on stage as well because they suddenly feel part of the theatrical experience that it is, which isn't always the case with musicians because we're shelved in a pit sometimes. And I think it's really great that the show does that. And it takes, um, it takes everyone into account. If there you go, there's a full band and cast. And I, I think it just makes a difference to people's enjoyment. All the children say we don't need another Yeah.
According to the government's recent announcement, England's theatres can return to full capacity from 19th July with no COVID restrictions. Many nights we've prayed with no proof anyone could hear In our hearts a hopeful song we barely understood I mean we had our first now show last Thursday so I've done three prayer. shows and Is I've never prayer? felt an audience reaction like it in my life It was so, so special um, well, we do. This show actually has a very big setup we call it before the audience comes in. So we have a physical warm up, which is about 15 minutes. We have lots of fights in it. Whip call, lift call, where we lift everyone. Um, and then we have a vocal warm up. So that takes about an hour before the show, preparing. And then after that, um, we go to our dressing room, we get dressed, get our mics in, get our wigs on. Um, so it's about a two-hour process before each show. Yeah. Come see theatre. We, we want you to come. We're ready for you. We waited 15 months and come support us. Yeah, we uh, we really like the show. Yeah, and, uh, everything is really, really good. Like, like yeah, what is it? the production. Is, yeah, the production is really spectacular. Uh, this is definitely a big scale production and uh, one of the one of the best so I've ever seen. I think. Yeah. Yeah, we've we've seen uh, a few musical shows yeah. in London, but I don't and, think it's uh, to this extent. This is the yeah, first time. Yeah, it's really nice. I really like. I think everything was very seamless and put together. Yeah. And so uh, I think this is what makes London really unique. Absolutely fantastic show. It feels phenomenal to be back in the theatre. That was definitely a soul feeder. Yeah, it's good to it be was back. so good. Like, yeah, it won't be long now until they catch them a full audience. Absolutely, yeah, it was amazing. The singing was just like out of this world. So yeah, it's good to be back in live theatre. This is definitely a step forward in how to get things back on track. Looking forward to it, looking good. And, and yeah, we're doing as safe as we can. It's good to be back.